Hey guys, this is Jess and welcome to my office, to my sacred space. Um, you might not be able to tell from where you're standing, but this place is a mess. Over the last month, we have been doing renovations in our house. We had new carpet put in, we did painting of all the rooms where the carpet was going in, and then after that was installed, we then um, did, uh, or are still in the process of uh, finishing painting the living room and then redoing the feature wall. So it's this back wall that you see here, but one floor above. We still have a couple of panels to put onto the wall and then the fireplace to finish up. And then a bit of cleaning and trim, and then we're done. Um, but in the meantime, this room has been used as a storage space for a lot of the furniture that we moved out of the way when we were cleaning and all sorts of things like that. So um, this room has become a mess and I am going to clean it up. Um, I, I thought that maybe you guys might be interested in seeing what I do to kind of get this Hi, room tidy. <laughs> so Emily is hopefully going to stay out of the way and go play with her toys so that mommy can do the cleaning. You think you can do that? Okay. Yeah, uh, no, not right now because mommy's cleaning up the Lego. Okay. All right, so I am going to roll the time lapse now.
cleansing, an energetic cleansing. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to light a candle with my lighter will ever work. Careful, Em. Careful. I'm going to lay this sage bundle. Sage. Going to cleanse the space. Give you guys a little extra cleanse. Friends too. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. The glow woke. It's kind of woke. Yeah, it is a kind of smoke. It's a cleansing smoke. I've got the window open. Mom, so that this doesn't completely window. stink like sage. In the house. Mom, mom, clean in my room. Uh, later, first you have to clean your room if you want mommy to cleanse it. Now we're going to cleanse my tarot reading table. Still have a couple things on it that I need to uh, clean up. All right. Where's my cauldron? Oh, there's my cauldron. Can you put your hairband and your hair uh, elastic away? Please? You're going to put your hairband on? That looks nice. There we go. Tap that one out. This can go away. All right, Em, you going to help me do a sound cleansing? We're going to do it with the drum. I will beat. You help me sing, okay? Come from the goddess, and to her we shall return like a drop of rain flowing to the ocean. We all come from the horned god, and to him we shall return like a spark of flame rising to the heavens. Corn and grain, corn and grain, all that falls shall rise again. give them a little tour of mommy's office. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the office. So first thing that you see when you come in is the sign on the door, but I've also taken the liberty of putting this on the back so that when I do have people over for in-person readings or when I'm doing videos, um, I put that on the door so that my older kids know this is not the time to disturb mommy. So here's the altar. The only thing I have going is this candle, which we can safely put out right now. So I've got this tapestry up on the wall and some lights. And I found this cute little uh, psychic readings. Uh, what does your future hold sign from Spirit Halloween last year? And then on my altar as well, you can also see that inside it are um, my decks and a few items that I keep close to hand uh, for magical purposes. There's a mortal and pestle, there's some black salt, there's uh, some homemade incense, my lighter, decks, my wand is in there. So yeah, it's lots of goodies inside there. Um, in the closet, there are several of my backup witchy items like candles, um, altar decorations, uh, there's all my herbs and oils in there, my crystals, etc. Emily's over in the corner playing with the um, stuffies that I have that make noises. Uh, bookshelves, as you can see, are plainly messy. They do need to be reorganized, but uh, that's not the priority at the moment. Um, then in here, we have our uh, crested gecko peach. Um, 
but yeah, she's in the very back along in here. Um, and uh, she is, looks like she's awake. Let's see. At the very least, I'll move the plants and give you a good shot of her. There she is. Say hi, Peach. She's quite dull looking right now as far as her colors are concerned, so that means that she is sleeping. Geckos are nocturnal, so we're going to let her be. Um, then over here we have my uh, goddess vision board. It's kind of stuck behind this Beltane thing. There's just a bunch of images and words, cards and, th and things like that that I have found that have reminded me of goddess energy, so I've put them on this board. I have some ivy growing here, my Christmas cactus, some odds and ends still that need to be put away. Uh, this is a sofa bed, so when we have guests over, they stay on this couch. Um, here's my rocking chair in the corner here. Sorry, the lighting is terrible right now. Um, along with the Lego table that the kids use and um, a little end table that has a few of my own things in there. There's my God Energy... Uh, vision board. So you got like Roger Moore who played 007. I love James Bond movies. Uh, and just various things that remind me of men and spirituality, but you know, mostly divine masculine. I have this image here too of Roger Moore from uh, Goldfinger. Um, I'm not really sure why he ended up there. I mean, I do really love that movie. So um, it's it's possible that that's why that ended up there, but it's just in general, it's mostly Divine Masculine stuff. You can see the uh, stag up in the corner. It reminds me of uh, Cernunos. I have my uh, Metaphysical Adept certificate hanging up there, and then, there we go, it's nice and straight now. Uh, my two um, Laura Daligan prints that I got framed. And um, then, yeah, there's my reading table here in the center. It also doubles as a coffee table. Um, so, Emily, please. Um, and I've got all my incense, uh, a stick incense um, and cone incense stored over here. And then this is like a um, an energy clearing spray. So I'm going to probably do that in the room here after we shut this thing down. So yeah, this is my office. There's some extra yarn stored over here in the closet that's over there by the um, rocking chairs. Basically, it's a cupboard under the stairs, so we've nicknamed it Harry Potter's bedroom. Um, and there's a bunch more uh, stuff stored under there as well, things like our fans and air conditioning units that we use in the summer. Um, there's some extra uh, knitting things that I don't use very often stored away and all that good stuff. And then there's uh, part of our front entryway um, and the base of the stairs. Oh, here's our new carpet, guys. Look at that stuff. It's still squishy. I love it. And then there's the other new carpet, but this is into the hall that goes down to the kids' room. It's it's not nearly as impressive. But yeah, there's our brand new carpet, which is already dirty. Shock of shocks. So I hope you guys liked this video today. Um, if you did, then uh, and you'd like to see these happen, um, when I do some major cleaning, let me know with a comment or a thumbs up so I know that you would like to see more of me uh, cleaning up spaces around my home if that's interesting to you. Um, I tend to do a physical clean and then when it feels right, do an energetic clean as well um, afterwards. So yeah, if you find that interesting, if you'd like to see it some more, then please let me know. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye!